Question, can you add packing to your still to increase the ABV? How's it going chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I'm Jesse and this is Still at the Channel, all about chasing the craft of home distillation and making it a legitimate hobby. All right team, so if you're watching this on uh, the Friday when my main video normally comes out each week, it means that uh, the berry vodka has been rained out again. I use the barbecue, it's kind of awkward to do it inside, so on and so forth. Uh, I'm sorry guys if that's the case. If it's not the case, I'll be editing this part out and we'll use it as a video next week. Carry on. So, new distiller question pops up over and over again. Uh, packing equals more ABV, right? So what if I pack some, uh, you know, copper mesh or marbles or rasher rings or whatever it happens to be into my still, will that improve or increase, I should say, the ABV of your final product coming out the other end? Uh, the short answer is yes, it will, but here's the thing, guys. Uh, adding packing to your still is, all it's doing is increasing the surface area that vapor and liquid have to interact with each other. The interaction between the two, um, condensed liquid coming back down through the still and vapor going up through the still, the interaction of those two things is what causes it to have the effect of increasing your ABV. I've got a bunch of other videos that sort of mention reflux and how it works. I'll link the one that's got the best explanation up over here, you can go and check that out if you don't know what I'm talking about. So what that means is for the packing to actually increase the ABV of the product coming out the other end of your still, you need to have a condensed liquid coming back down through the column. Here we go. <laughs> so if we pack this column and the vapor is just going up and out and there's nothing going back down, it's not going to do it. It's going to do sweet fuck all. In fact, it's not going to increase the ABV of your product at all. Here's the thing guys, especially if you do have a larger column like this, like a tall one and you pack it, you're going to get some um, natural or ambient reflux. Just the fact that you've got a taller still. As the vapor is going up through this column, it's getting further and further away from the heat source and some of it is just going to cool naturally, especially if you're using an awesome conductor like copper uh, for your column. The ambient temperature out here is a whole lot lower than the, the temperature that the vapor is going to condense back down. So it's going to do something. It's going to condense a little bit and send a little bit of uh, reflux back down through your column. The thing is that in practice that natural reflux is kind of negligible. It, there's really not a lot happening there. So yes you can pack your still and yes you will get a slight increase in ABV but in terms of what's coming out the other end it, it's not really going to be much of a difference to be perfectly honest with you. If you're making something like whiskey or rum, you're probably going to notice it more in terms of a slightly cleaner product coming out the other end. You know, like if, if you're into whiskey at all, you hear all the whiskey, you know, people talking about the shape of their still, the, the angle of the line arm, all those sorts of different things that slightly tweak the amount of passive reflux you're getting to change the flavor profile of the products coming out the other end. It's probably honestly going to be more visible there in terms of just straight hard numbers in terms of the, the ABV of the product coming out the other side. So if you do want to pack your still with something and increase the ABV of the product, to make that a uh, meaningful change in your still, you really need what is called a reflux condenser sitting at the top of your column. That reflux condenser, the sole purpose it has is to allow you at your discretion to decide how much of the vapor going up through the column is going to go back down through the column as reflux and how much of it's going to go out through your line arm and into your collection jars. So if you're a new distiller and you're trying to decide how to run your still, how to change the products coming out the other side of your still and you want to reach a much higher ABV you really need to look at using packing in conjunction with a pro <laughs> not a product condenser. Sorry guys, I'm getting mixed up. A reflux condenser. I need to say a huge, huge thank you to the Patreons. Thank you so much Patreons. You're the reason that I get to do this stuff. So thank you so very, very, very much. 
If this video is coming out on the Friday, sorry guys, you know what, I'll try and get an extra video out uh, to make up for it before before next week, if that's the way it rolls. Sorry, we've had a bad, uh, a bad spell of weather here and it's kind of messed up my plans. But anyway, uh, if you're a new distiller, I hope that helps you out guys. I hope that's something that uh, is just one less thing that you're trying to figure out by yourself. I get it, as a new distiller, the learning curve in this hobby is nuts. It's just the way it is. But keep on keeping on, guys. Trust me, it is an insanely, insanely satisfying hobby. Once you get past that initial curve and you get into just being able to chill and experiment and make things that suit your tastes. All right, guys, I hope that helped you out. Uh, if it did, do me a favor and hit the like button down below, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, and if you want more videos like this popping up in your feed to help you out, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell. And I'll catch you next time, guys. Keep on chasing the craft. See ya.